Previously on The David Frankel Show. So that we can have someone everyone is happy with who is being democratically elected. I'll do it! You're hired! Well of course it is very important that we upload videos on time and that is something we are currently working on. Videos mean videos. So, what's the naughtiest thing you've ever done? Oh goodness me. Um... <laughs> Hello YouTube, yes, it's me, David Frankel. Um, I'd like £5 billion worth of free promotion, please. Yes, I do have the negotiating advantage. Okay, well listen, you, you demand videos, but every time I suggest a video, you say no. What you're asking for is impossible. Ugh, traitor. Ever since I stepped through that door to do a Theresa May impression on The David Frankel Show, it has become abundantly clear that I am very bad at them. Politics has become a staple of the David Frankel Show, the show which when I first started producing, I promised I would upload every week. Sadly, I have not been able to do so. But with the resignation of Theresa May from the leadership of the Conservative and Unionist Party, it has become clear that it is time to move on from this bad impression of a bad unelected politician to an even worse impression of an even worse an even more unelected politician. I do so with no ill will, but enduring gratitude to have had the opportunity to do an impression of a politician I never really liked. <laughs> Think they bought the crime? Honestly, David, this was your worst one yet. <laughs> Order! Order! Mr. Rob, it is below you to chunter in from a sedentary position in such a manner. Pipe down, man! Hello, I am John Burko, the Speaker of the House of Commons, and welcome to the Conservative Leadership Candidates Debate. This debate didn't actually happen, I'm just making it up for this skit. Mr. Boris Johnson! Looks as though he has better things to do. Mr. Dominic Raab, please explain your Brexit plan. Well, my plan is quite simply to sort out Brexit, and after that I'm going to go on holiday to Europe. Oh, that's nice. Where are you going? I don't quite remember, to be honest. Can you name any places in Europe? Um, well, no. I will be driving there. Okay, are you taking the Channel Shuttle or the ferry? No, I'll be driving. You do realise Britain is an island, right? I'm not quite sure what you're talking about. Ireland is Ireland, Britain is Britain. Oh my god, he can't be serious. Okay. Anyway, it looks as though Boris Johnson has now arrived. Mr Boris Johnson, please explain your Brexit plan. Ah, uh, yes. Well, um, when I was Mayor of London, um, well, yes, you know, I, um, well, yes, you see, um, well, uh, uh, Garden Bridge, um, yes, well, in uh, Piccadillys with watermelon smiles. Looks like Prime Ministerial material to me, Mr Jeremy Hunt. Yes, well, I'd just like to remind everybody that I was the uh, Secretary of State for Health and Social Care. No, I don't see why that would hurt my chances at all. Also, I'm boring. Michael Gove, please explain your Brexit plan. Mm. What? Sorry, um, I'm going to go to Brussels and go to Juncker and renegotiate the deal and remove the backstop and leave the European Union this weekend. <laughs> Mr. Sajid Javid, do you have anything to contribute to this debate? Uh, no, not really. Mr. Matt Hancock? Yeah, me neither. Andrea Ledson? Oh, fuck you, John. Esther McVeigh? Well, I think it should be the parents' decision as to whether or not their kids know that gay people exist. Next up, Matt Harper? Who are you? I mean, even I have no idea. And finally, Rory Stewart? Yes, well, I'm going to be honest with you because I'm just a very honest person. Uh, I'm actually against No Deal because I think it will mean delay to actually solving Brexit and I think it's pointless to try and do something that Parliament has rejected multiple times. This is why I'm going to try and pass May's deal, which has been rejected by Parliament multiple times. Oh, did somebody fart? 
Yes, that was me, sorry. Opium makes me gassy.